once boasted the legendary Eric Morecambe as one of their fans, but these days there's not too much to smile about here at Luton Town. One week, a long list of FA charges over irregular payments to agents. The next, the club went into administration. Who'd be a Luton supporter just now? I think the one thing with Luton fans, though, is uh, we're more than used to it over the, over the years, and it's uh, certainly a roller coaster ride. I mean, I've been going for 30 years now, and it's, uh, as soon as you get to the top of the roller coaster, you think you're enjoying it, and you're straight back down again. Of course, people like Kevin Lennon can't help themselves. He works in the City of London and knows a bit about finances but admits, once a fan, always a fan. There's great passion within the club. There's 122 years of history there, and uh, for whatever happens, uh, whatever league we'll be playing in, there will still always be uh, a Luton town. And I know from the response I've had from fans all over the country and all over the world, and there's people from other sides of the world, other countries wanting to donate money, wanting to know if they can do charity things to help the, uh, this club get out of its current predicament. Along with Chairman David Pinkney, manager Kevin Blackwell is desperately trying to steer the ship to calmer waters this season. But it was Blackwell's predecessor Mike Newell who brought the club firmly into the spotlight last year when he became a high-profile critic of the murky world of football transfers. He's a man that was obviously going to be remembered favourably by Luton fans for the great football that he brought to us and the promotion under hard times as well. I think great credit has to go to him for, for what he has done in terms of exposing people. Newell was sacked back in March, but it's November which has turned out to be the month from hell for the club. For local newspapers, the headlines have been plentiful and the fans have been impressive in trying circumstances. They would have been well within their rights to feel sorry for themselves and stay away, but they didn't. And in many ways, it was probably the best atmosphere of the season so far. Luton have often had the knack of attracting headlines but a club which once boasted a plastic pitch has always had real fans. I, I really do just feel there's a resiliency out there. You know, Luton seem to, the fans especially, you know, in the face of adversity, seem to pull together. We've taken a beating over the years and uh, life's full of ups and downs being a Luton fan. And uh, I mean, there's been too many downs lately, but what comes around goes around. And uh, we're, we're certainly due a few ups.